Hey guys, Twenty Two Soulful. Uh, I've been having some uh, questions about uh, the Harbor Freight kit not really uh, working as well as it works for me. Uh, particularly, one person on uh, Facebook. This is video especially for you, uh, and for anyone else that might be having this problem. Uh, the problem is that when he uses his system, it drops really fast and it puts the uh, charge controller in low volt mode, or showing that uh, it's low voltage. Uh, the main reason most likely reason I should say will probably be that your battery is too small for your loads and you're actually draining it down too far or, or too quick I should say and it's hitting 11 volts and it's really not completely drained um, I don't know you know if you're uh, using a power inverter I suggest you completely bypass the charge controller and hook up your inverter directly to the battery like kinda like how I did here uh, well wish my batteries wasn't condensating but uh, anyways you see like that's my negative terminal right there for my power inverter and I got my positive terminal uh, right back there uh, but yeah um, probably gonna be your battery probably just too small uh, these right here are each 70 amp hours each and uh, 70 amp hours each including the interstate battery I have all three of them wired together in parallel meaning positive to positive negative to negative for a total of 210 amp hours so um, not a series which is positive negative positive negative which would increase your volts but a parallel which is positive to positive negative to negative but um, <coughs> yeah I haven't had any problems out of it I, like I said I'm not really quite sure the amp hours of your battery um, but at least 170 amp hour battery would be uh, probably more than sufficient depending on what you're running. If you're just uh, running a cell phone charger or uh, anything like that, it's just something small. 170 amp hour battery would be more than enough for that. Um, now I, I try to run a little larger stuff with my system. That's how come I have a uh, three batteries. But uh, you know these batteries they do get relatively expensive. I paid um, 70 or 80 dollars each for these except for the interstate I had the interstate for years that that came with my an old camper I had so but uh they're gonna be seventy to eighty dollars each but most likely that's probably what's happening even if your <clears throat> excuse me even if your uh battery just drops below eleven volts just for a brief period of time the uh harbor freight charge controller will say it's low voltage and will cut off all your loads that's just how it is because uh even though uh, say, say you, uh, for instance, you turn on your power inverter and it dropped below 11 volts. It's going to cut off your uh, your battery power. I mean, even though your battery may actually be 12 volts resting volts, you know, if you turn your power inverter on and it drops it below 11, it, it will cut off your um, your uh, power. The charge controller will cut off your power because the charge controller thinks that you have a low battery, but in reality, it's not really low. Um, so that could be a possible problem with a Harbor Freight uh, charge controller, but um, yeah, most likely the battery is just going to be too small. Uh, you said that was a new battery, I believe, so it's not going to be that the battery itself is bad. It's just that the uh, battery is just too small and you're taking more power, uh, giving you a larger voltage drop than what the battery could uh you know, uh, compensate for on startup. Are you know, your startup of whatever you're trying to run is dropping your voltage of the battery probably below 11 volts. But uh, yeah, as far as uh, my panels here, uh, well, top kind of shredded on this one here. Need to replace it. I cover up the panels. The main reason is because these plastic frames are really, uh, really bad as far as lasting. Let me uh just pull up this corner here well I don't know if any of these are well, yeah like right there you see there's a little crack there which needs to actually be repaired with some uh, silicone it's just these panels are just so uh, uh, cheap the quality of them really went down if it was a metal frame like uh, these little 10 watt panels here that I made into a 40 watt if it was a metal frame like that I really wouldn't even be concerned about it too much but the fact that the plastic frame is uh plastic <laughs> and they do crack i'm trying to keep as much water off of them as possible just to kind of prolong the life of the panels but um you know you could probably leave them out in the weather because that's what they're rated for and technically speaking it should last out in the weather because that's what it was meant for but you know i just don't trust it you know the uh 
panel you saw there was actually cracked and pretty much all the corners of all these panels were cracked and if not uh already been repaired you know like that one that's actually a new crack that's needing to be repaired on it but uh, that's why i cover up these panels just to kind of prolong the life and not to mention if you live in snowy conditions if the power was to fail the grid power was to fail you know i don't have to scrape snow off all these panels i could just unpeel the tarp and all the snow will fall off the panels and i could be pumping out power just like that so uh, that's another reason i covered i mean yeah i live in alabama but you know i've been getting a lot of snow the past few years i mean i have snow every single year and a lot of it but uh anyways i just hope that clears up some uh, questions uh and issues with the uh, harbor freight kit possibly why your um phone charger is dropping the uh battery voltage too quick and uh the charge controller is <clears throat> um cutting off your power but if you're using a power inverter i suggest you hook it up directly to the battery it will give you a little bit more run time but uh power inverters they're generally a little more forgiving they could go down about 10 and a half volts before uh <coughs> before the uh power inverter will cut off with low voltage but anyways i hope that helps you out you know keep on uh, leaving comments if you got any more questions about it uh until next time guys uh this is for everybody so if any of y'all are having the same issue with uh, your battery voltage just dropping so quick, could po most likely it's going to be your uh, battery is probably just a little too small. But if you got any questions, you know, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until uh, next time, guys, take care, and I hope you all have an awesome, awesome holiday season.